Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at 20 new handguns for the year 2019. We've got 20 here. I think you're going to like this. The video moves quick, so let's go. I was very excited when I found out that CZ was releasing the P10S subcompact version of the P10C that shoots just as nice. Comes with two 12 round magazines. This here is an extension that I purchased from HB Industries, offers 14 rounds. Very nice, but what makes this impressive is the trigger. I measure it right at five and a quarter pounds, but it is so smooth and so crisp. And here is your reset right there. This is the optic ready model for those who want to run optics. It does have a tritium front dot night sight. Interchangeable back straps, very comfortable with a 3.5 inch barrel. It's CZ, so it's very smooth, very reliable, very accurate. What a nice gun that CZ came up with with the P10S. They could not have done a better job for 2019. We knew Glock was going to come out of the gate strong in 2019, and they did with the Glock 43X. They increased the magazine capacity from six rounds in the original Glock 43 to 10 rounds in the 43X. And that will also allow three finger contact given more control over the handgun. They came out with a PVD coated slide with a silverish finish to it. Little different look for Glock, but I think it works just fine. It does have front serrations and everything else that we are used to with Glock from the trigger pull to the Glock sights. And the overall feel. Now the barrel length remains the same as the original Glock 43. That is 3.41 inches and a nice all-around package. I took it to the range and performed outstanding. Glock 43X, an excellent addition from Glock. Ruger came out with a 22 long rifle revolver called the Wrangler. What an excellent tool for those who are training or just getting involved in the shooting sports. This is a cowboy style single action trigger revolver that carries six rounds. It does have a loading gate and this one is unloaded and it has a single action hammer. It has a 4.62 inch stainless steel barrel and an aluminum frame. And it weighs 30 ounces. A polymer grip, nice feel to it, nice trigger, extremely accurate, soft shooting. This is a great training tool for those getting involved or those that just want to plank and have a great time at the range shooting 22 long rifle. This one here is in silver Cerakote. They also make a bronze and a black Cerakote with the Wrangler line. Six hour lit the CCW world on fire this year when they introduced the P320 X Compact. It has a 3.6 inch barrel, subcompact size with a full size grip and 15 round magazines. It has a flat face trigger that is very comfortable at the range. I measure it right around five pounds. Works really well. And they undercut the trigger guard and also put an indentation in the grip, making the ergos extremely nice. You add the extended beaver tail, it feels really nice. 1913 rail. It is optic ready. This plate comes off and it comes standard with night sights. So here you have Sig Light night sights, X ray 3, large green dot front night sight. And it also has a loaded chamber indicator right there. Together, this package is very nice. People are very excited about it. I think Sig hit it out of the park with this P320 X Compact. I am extremely excited for the Steyr A2MF series of pistols. New for 2019, they redesigned the entire grip with different texturing, interchangeable grip panels, and back straps. They have a 17 round mag with this L9 A2MF and a flared out magwell. The MF stands for modular frame. You can see the serial number is internal with the trigger component group. The frame is modular and they added a 1913 rail there and an extended beaver tail for control of the gun. Forward serrations and the same trigger that I measure right at five and a half pounds. It's an amazing pistol that Steyr created for 2019. I took this to the range and shot the lights out with this L9A2MF. Now this will be available in the C, M, and L series of Steyr pistols. They did an incredible job for 2019. And here we have the new High Point C9. We're not sure what the name is but High Point fans will be impressed with the improvements. We get 
look right here, it does have an elongated sight base so people can run a red dot if they choose. Suppressor ready with a threaded barrel. It does have front cocking serrations, different cut in the slide, makes it pretty nice. Different look in the trigger, it does have an accessory rail there. You can see that the grip is a little different, much more ergonomic. Pretty nice feel to it. And then what's great about this is that it's now offering a double stack mag, standard capacity, 10 rounds. And it is expected that it'll make its way up to 15 rounds, which is something that many High Point fans have wanted for years. Ambidextrous mag release, and overall a nice job by High Point coming up with this new model. Should be available late 2019. Here's the new Taurus TX-22 that I call Taurus's new Rockstar. Comes with two 16 round magazines. It's a lightweight gun, fully loaded with 16 rounds, weighs under 20 ounces with a polymer frame, aluminum slide, front serrations, three dot sights with adjustable rear sight. But what makes it unique is that it is a striker fire 22 long rifle handgun with a single action trigger. And here's what we're looking at. Breaks right at four and a half pounds and then here is the reset it comes with a threaded adapter in the case and a 1913 rail to run lights lasers and anything else what a nice handgun i took this to the range it performed excellent the taurus tx22 is their new rock star here we have an Eric's Arms Rex Delta imported by the Fine Group. This gun is finally out and available to the American public and I think it's going to make a big hit in 2019. It does come with two magazines, one 15 and one 17 round magazine. An excellent trigger that breaks right around six and a quarter pounds. But check out that grip. Very comfortable, excellent ergos, interchangeable back straps. It is an ambi gun, so it does have a slide stop and magazine release on both sides, making it left handed friendly. It does have front serrations, a striker fire indicator, and a loaded chamber indicator. Four inch barrel. I took it to the range. It's an excellent shooter, very accurate, very reliable, a comfortable shooter. I think this has everything that. The compact size 9mm enthusiast is going to want wow. in a handgun. I am so impressed with the Rex Delta. It will do very well in 2019. Here we have a beautiful car K9 with rubber grips, all steel frame, 3.5 inch barrel, 0.9 inches wide on the slide, a 7 round magazine, and that very smooth double action trigger pull that breaks between 6.5 and 7 pounds. This was the first handgun that Car Arms ever created, and now it's been 25 years, so they came up with a 25th anniversary K9 that is absolutely beautiful. Custom engraved laser cut slide that has 25 on the fore end. It does have front serrations. It's an all blackened model with aluminum grips. Just an amazing looking gun. I am, I am so impressed with it. And it really signifies the 25 years that Car Arms has been making the Car K9. In 2019, Remington revised the reliable RM380 and created an upscale RM380 Executive with a stainless steel slide, wood grain grips that are glass filled nylon and still has an aluminum frame for a micro sized 380 ACP handgun that many people pocket carry it weighs under 16 ounces loaded with six rounds of 380 now this has the extended base plate over here is the flat base plate it does come with both and a double action trigger pull that is nice people like it for pocket carry i i found this to be extremely reliable i put a bunch of different types of ammo through it and it feeds and functions with every kind it does have an ambidextrous magazine release look for the rm380 executive to be a big hit in 2019 many of us wondered when ruger would make a smaller model of their security 9 and for 2019 they did with the ruger security 9 compact same gun just smaller with a 3.42 inch barrel and a 10 round magazine does come with two 10 round magazines but they 
still have the same technology from the LCP2 with the hammer and trigger action that people really enjoy. I measure this trigger right around five and a half pounds, and it is a nice shooter. Also has a thumb safety, forward slide serrations, U-notch, rear adjustable sights, a 1913 rail, and overall an excellent package. I take this to the range, shoot the lights out with it. I think Ruger has a winner here, and many people are going to enjoy the Ruger Security 9 Compact. kel came out with a 22 long rifle handgun called the CP-33. The CP's competition pistol, 33 is the amount of rounds it carries in the magazine. Check that out. It's called a quad stack magazine. It does have a heel release there. It has an aluminum receiver, a polymer lower, a three pound trigger, five and a half inch threaded barrel, nine inch sight radius, a lot of real estate, on the Picatinny rail, overall length 10 and a half inches, ambidextrous thumb safety, and a nice shooter at the range. You know, I, I took it out, it performed outstanding, very accurate with that five and a half inch barrel, a lot of fun to shoot, 33 rounds per magazine. Caltech came out with something special here with the CP33. Here we have Mossberg's first handgun in over 100 years called the MC1 SC for subcompact. Comparable in size to the original Glock 43 with a 3.4 inch barrel. Very nice grip texturing there. And it does come with a 7 round magazine and a 6 round magazine, both clear. It does have a 3.4 inch barrel and a flat face trigger with a trigger bar safety there. Breaks right at 5.5 pounds and your reset is right there. Nice little package by Mossberg. A lot of people excited about it. Mossberg's excited about it, and I think they will sell well for Mossberg in 2019. Here we have the new Kimber Evo SP. The SP stands for Striker Pistol. Kimber released this with confidence. They said they got it right. A little bit larger than the Solo with a 3.1 inch barrel. It does have an aluminum frame with additional grips and back strap available an aluminum frame handgun. It does come with two seven round magazines and the trigger is very nice. Measures right at 6.5 pounds and the reset is right there for the follow up shots. It does have a striker fire indicator right there. It does come standard with night sights. And all in all, a nice shooting and excellent handling handgun by Kimber. They're very excited about it. And I think for CCW purposes, this would work just fine. I'm a huge fan of Walther handguns, and especially the Q5 match. For 2019, Walther created a steel frame Q5 match that is much heavier and thicker. It has an extended beaver tail, a flared out magwell, a full dust cover, which means a full Picatinny rail, and the same trigger and 5 inch barrel that this polymer frame Q5 match has. The trigger, which is branded blue, measures right at... 5.6 pounds. I shoot this gun so incredibly well. It is optic ready. The steel frame is optic ready for those who want to use optics on their handguns. I think the Q5 match steel frame will be very attractive to the competition market as well as people who want a precise handgun that functions excellent. In early 2019, Glock surprised us with the 43X, but even more so the Glock 48. It uses the same polymer frame in both handguns same 10 round magazine but it does have a 4.1 inch barrel so it does have the pvd coated slide with the front serrations with a 4.1 inch barrel other than that it is all glock essentially the same gun with a longer barrel length for those who want that who those who feel that a longer barrel length creates better accuracy which is very common the glock 48 is available for, for those people, many people carry it. The weight is still very comfortable and all in all, Glock did a nice job. It's a good looking gun, it's a good shooting gun and many people enjoy the Glock 48. Stoger entered 2019 with a new handgun that's Palmer Frame Striker Fire Compact Size 9mm handgun called the STR-9. They did a nice job with magazines that carry 15 rounds, a trigger that I measure right around six and a quarter pounds, and there is the reset. Nice ergos to it. They do have interchangeable back straps, slight finger grooves there, nice texturing, three dot sights, adjustable that are steel, loaded chamber indicator, 
4.1 inch barrel, full 1913 Picatinny rail, a steel guide rod, and a nice overall feel to it. Stoker did a nice job, took this to the range and performed outstanding. Look for the STR9 to make waves in 2019. Beretta expanded its APX handgun line with the Beretta APX Carry, which is a subcompact, single-stack, 9mm handgun that also has the same slide serrations we have known with the APX. It does come with a 6 and 8 round magazine, and the 8 round allows for 3 finger contact on the grip. The trigger breaks right under... Six pounds. It's a true double action trigger pull with a reset that is almost to full position. It does have a three inch barrel and a modular frame. There's the serial number right there on the trigger group. So it's modular. You can switch out the frame for different colors. And there it is. The APX carry. I think many people will enjoy this handgun. Here is a full size FN 509. It enjoys a fine reputation, but for 2019, FN made a mid-size model that carries 15 rounds the full-size model carries 17 rounds but the mid-size grip will end right around there and make it more adaptable for concealed carry other than that it's all fn very few changes between the full-size and the mid-size model it does have a hinged trigger that enjoys a very nice break i i shoot it extremely well i think the mid-size model will offer all the features that the full-size model does but with a smaller grip and some minor enhancements that make that mid-size model a one of its kind within the FN 509 line. When I was at SHOT Show, I was very much impressed with the Nemo Arms Monarch. It's a full-size handgun with a 5-inch match-grade barrel. It has an aluminum frame. Its overall weight is 33 ounces. The trigger weight is between 4 and 4.5 and pounds. It has a fiber optic front sight. Each gun is optic ready and it takes 6 hour mags. It's not available yet, but when it is, I cannot wait to get this in my hands for a full review. I think it will be a winner for 2019. So there they are, 20 new handguns for 2019. Let me know which ones are your favorites and any that you feel I missed. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.